friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. Today I have a really fun kind of video. This is a little bit different and if it goes well, if you guys seem to be interested, um, I may start bringing more of these each month or each week. I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll see what direction we're going in. But anyway, a little background real quick. Um, if you've been around my channel, you'll know that I love um, travel in addition to beauty. Obviously beauty, since the name of my channel is Share Shares Beauty. But I love travel too. I have such a passion for it. I've done a couple of amazing trips recently I've been sharing and I want to continue doing that. I also love beauty too, and sometimes I don't always know how to combine the two niches that I have. Um, I do have a weekly makeup collab on my Instagram page, same handle there if you don't follow me already, Share Shares Beauty. And what we do is each week, we have a different location around the world um, that we're looking at, and we create a makeup look that is inspired by that location. It's called our Travel Tuesdays Collab. I'm now in charge of it and headed up. It is such a fun collab. It's been going for over three years. I've been involved in it since the beginning of my blog and I just love it so much. And it just combines both of my great loves, travel and beauty. So today we're gonna be making a look based on a haunted lighthouse. And I thought it would actually be really cool to kind of bring in a little bit of ghost story time with this because um, my family and all visited a, ha a haunted lighthouse recently. And um, I actually did a whole YouTube video on this over on my travel channel, Share Shares Travel. Um, so go check out my travel channel. I've just started this one um, brand new, just playing around with it. So, um, you know, obviously I'm just, I love travel. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do things if I want a separate channel or keep everything here. But anyway, you can check out that. I might put a few clips in here from that video, uh, but we're gonna be sharing that lighthouse. I'm gonna base my look off of that lighthouse and tell some ghost stories as we create a fun makeup look. Sound cool? Cool. Enough yakking, let's dig in and start playing. All right, guys, I'm gonna put on the screen here the lighthouse in question that I'm going to make an inspired look from. We're just gonna come up with something fun. I have a vision to do something that has white and black stripes and a little pop of red, but the red's not gonna be a lot, you know, so it incorporates this idea. This is the St. Augustine Lighthouse. It's St. Augustine, Florida, about two and a half hours from my house. We've been to St. Augustine many, many times. It's a historical city. It's actually the oldest city in the United States. A lot of people don't know that. So much history there. This is kind of the place where my kids have grown up going on field trips and me too when I was a kid. Um, I really love the city. This particular lighthouse though that we all grew up visiting is actually haunted. There are ghost stories there and they have a ghost tour that you can do um, after hours. I forget the name of it. I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, so we learned a lot of ghost tours and my daughter brought back this cool ghost book about the, you know, haunted lighthouse. So I'm going to share some of those as we work on a look. So just wanted to show you the inspired look and yeah. So, okay. I think I'm going to use, I talk about this palette or I've talked about it before. I think this is the wet and wild, um, big giant, like colorful palette. I use this a lot when I just need like all the colors of the rainbow. Very messy right now. Sorry. Um, it's one of my palettes I bring with me if I do face painting for clients. Has like background, just the powder, you know, formula and everything. But yeah, we're going to dig in and do something white and black striped at first on the eyes, I think. Um, I'm purposefully not wearing makeup on the rest of my face right now. We're going to start with eyes because anytime you're dealing with blacks and heavy smoky colors, it will there will be a lot of fallout and it'll all fall down here. And so it's best not to have makeup on because it will catch all in your makeup and you have to redo it or cover it. Or if you wanted to put like heavy translucent powder down here to catch the makeup, that's another option too. But I, I typically start with my eyes first anyway. I'm just coming in here with black. Um, yeah. So let's talk about this lighthouse. So this one, what year was it? I'm going to put it on the screen for you. They had, I think the first lighthouse keeper though, um, was his name was Dr. Ballard. And I think that like, as it was being constructed or, you know, he lived there some, and he loved it. It was his baby. 
Uh, but there were many warning him they wanted to redo it and or tear it down and reconstruct it because they were worried it was falling apart, basically. Um, and they felt it was going to fall into the sea. So they, they were all talking about that. He didn't like that too much. And he decided that, or he basically stated he was going to stay with that lighthouse. Like, there was no way he was leaving it. And so he remained loyal to that lighthouse. And so the, the legend and story goes that, like, he has not left it till this day and still haunts it. So he's one of the ghosts that supposedly lives there. And then there was another lighthouse keeper that I guess he loved cigars. And so uh, there's reports of when people visit the lighthouse, they can smell the scent of cigar smoke, like especially in the stairwell. So you have like a ton of people, almost like all the lighthouse keepers it seems like are the ghosts in this lighthouse. Pretty cool. So then there was another one, another lighthouse keeper, um, Joseph Andrell, I think was the name. I'm gonna go with white now. I should do black over here first, but I'm just gonna start laying down white. Um, anyway, Joseph Andrell, and he loved his cigars also. He actually fell to his death. You know, light keeping, lighthouse keeping sounds like it, it was a risky trade, huh? Um, but he fell to his death, and so uh, he still haunts the grounds as well. So I don't know which one the cigar smell comes from. <laughs> this time I'm going to go inside. And almost the idea of a halo eye. And I might bring it up a little bit to hug this guy. I don't know. We'll see. No, maybe I just kind of want to do that. Yeah. Okay. I have an appointment after this, you guys, with my for my kids. It's always fun after doing a creative look, <laughs> going out in public, and everybody's looking at you like, what on earth are you wearing? I think I'm just going to put a little dab right in here for now. What do y'all think? It's not very... Because there's black there, it's hard to really make it stand out. And I will come back in with concealer to clean this up. Like there's a spot up here. Come in with like Q-tips and concealer to cover over it. Um, I don't know about the red, but we are committed now. So I guess we're just gonna do it on the other side too. And I have like a paintbrush for this, like a little small. Um, even though I'm not really painting, I'm using just powder formula, but I just happen to have this brush handy. So that's what we're using. Again, I'm gonna use like a Q-tip with some um, eyeshadow remover and concealer to clean this up or cover it. But just kind of laying down a little bit of a foundation. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm going to kind of follow the same line on the bottom here. Bring the black all the way under. It's right about there. And on that side too. In fact, I may bring it all the way in. Really darken the eye up there. There we go. I look like I've got a black eye a little bit though, don't I? And excuse me, I know the camera's over here, but you know, I'm, I'm using you guys as my mirror. Okay, I know it looks silly. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to pop on eyeliner and mascara and lashes. I might save the lashes for the last. And then, um, and we're gonna continue with our ghost story. We'll tell story time as we go. Even more notable of ghosts are the daughters of Hezekiah Pitty, who was hired to help construct the new lighthouse. In 1873, 
His daughters, Mary and Eliza, who were 15 and 13, were playing with a cart full of some of the construction materials when the cart broke loose and started leaping off of a cliff, dragging the girls along with them. They then died and drowned in the sea. But it is said that they love to haunt these grounds and they love to play pranks and tug at folks going up and down the stairs and some have been known to fall and get hurt. The cottage that is found at the front of the lighthouse, however, is known to be the most haunted of all. There are regular reports of footsteps being heard, doors left open with no alarms, creepy shadow figures, and the sound of moanings. Particularly, one woman who yells, help me. There is often a woman at the top of the tower dressed in white with a child that is sometimes noted, as well as an overall eerie feeling in the stairwell. And then coming down the stairs to the basement, often people feel a feeling of being oppressed. And it is noted that there is a man that is often seen here that passes by visitors without saying a word. Do you see the lady at the top with the white dress and her child? Or maybe here in the window? I don't know, what do you think? Let me know what you see. And if you do happen to make it to the top, here are some beautiful, breathtaking views out on the waterway, and even a picture of me getting a picture of those ghosts. All right guys, so now we're gonna need a pop of red on the lips and some lashes and it should be just about done. Um, trying to figure out what red we should go with. Okay, we're gonna do a slay all day color. I tend towards a little more cool tones on my lip liners and lips then bright especially with you know white and black going on here I just feel like everything's starting to run together and look almost uh, cool toned also and I think I'm gonna go with an elf red this is no regrets by elf some of their new lip shades relatively new that okay that's about the red I think I'm going for I'm gonna do this uh, NYX actually it's NYX whip it comes out more of a matte though just for like added layers of red very good and then I'm gonna pop some lashes on and we'll be done with the look. All right, guys, here is our finished lighthouse look. So yes, we got our little black and white, maybe a little too much black, but it's kind of cool to me, I don't know. And our little touch of red. I'm not crazy about the red on the inner corners. That didn't come out how I was envisioning, but I don't want to mess with it too much. I've actually run out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if it was fun for you. We could do this each month or every week because I do this every Tuesday. Check it out on my Instagram. Um, I could either pick like my favorite one for the month or bring it each week or whatever. Um, let me know what you think uh, about doing this 
more often. I just, I really enjoy just playing with makeup on here. Like I haven't gotten to do that a lot on my channel lately. So next theme for our Travel Tuesdays collab, we are going to be exploring Mexico for the month of November. So if you love Mexico, it's all about Mexico next month. We got Mayan ruins. We've got the historic buildings and cities. Um, we've got tequila tours. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I will probably most definitely want to do at least one from Mexico. So hope that was enjoyable. Pop that subscribe button so you won't miss more in the future. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.